بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم ورچیز اف رمضان از ابو رر رضی تعالی ان ریلیس دا رسول الله صلی الله علیه و سلم سید Many are the ones who fast attain nothing by such fasting except for hunger. And many are the ones performing salat by night attaining nothing by it except for the discomfort of staying awake at night. So dear respected brothers, elders, sisters that are listening, what we learn from this hadith is that many people, they keep a fast. But that fast is no benefit for it. To them they gain no reward for it all they're doing is staying hungry for the whole day and like that there are many people that stand up into hajjah that night and pray the nawafil throughout the night but their praying is of no use they gain no reward except for staying awake so why are these reasons So the ulama, they've interpreted this for with three reasons. The first is that when people keep a fast and the fast doesn't benefit them except for staying hungry, is that they might have kept a fast the whole day. But when it comes to iftari time, they've opened their iftar with haram food. You know, food that is not allowed. So, or sometimes it could be mashkuk food, something that could be doubtful. So now look, you've gone through the whole difficulty of keeping our fast for 18 hours. But then when it comes to opening your fast, people might have gone to KFC. People might have gone to places where it is doubtful and you know it is doubtful, the food. And you've consumed that for your iftar. So your whole 18 hours of staying hungry and fasting, except for staying hungry, you get no benefit from this. The second reason the ulama say is that a person might keep a fast during the whole day, but he doesn't control his tongue. He's backbiting away. He's talking ill of people. He's slandering people. So he might be at home. The whole day, he might be reading his namaz, he picks up his Quran, he's fasting for 18 hours, but during his free time, he's gossiping about people, he's talking about people, he's slandering, he's backbiting. So he, he's stayed hungry the whole day, he's kept a fast, but he's gained no reward for his fast because he didn't control his tongue. And the third reason the ulama write is that just like a person who can't control his tongue, a person might have kept a fast all day, but he didn't stay away from evil deeds. He still listened to his music. He's still committing theft. He's still cheating people. He's still harming people. So he's not staying away from the evil deeds. So he's keeping a fast. Or sometimes what happens is many people, they keep a fast. But then don't pray any of their namaz. So they've done one good action of keeping a fast, but then they missed all their namaz. And they say, at least I'm keeping my fast. But your fast doesn't benefit you or you haven't gained any reward from the fast. So the whole purpose of fasting is to abstain yourself from any kind of sin, any kind of evil deed. So Fasting is not you just don't eat and you don't drink. Yes, they are the main reasons. But apart from that is also to control your nafs and your desires. So you control your tongue from talking evil. You control your eyes at looking at evil. You control your hands at doing evil. You control your feet walking towards evil. So there's a fasting of the whole body as well. So that's why... We all thought we would keep a fast, but our fast don't benefit us. That's why it's very important to get the maximum benefit from our fasting is that we stay away from wrong and haram and evil deeds. And just like that, there are many people at night, they get to for the hajj, they get, they get to for prayers, which is very good, mashallah. But then during the day, they miss all their namaz or they're cheating people, they're backbiting, they're slandering people. You know, they're harming people. So you're doing a good action at night, 
but then during the day everything you're gaining you're losing or sometimes people they wake throughout the night and then when you come to Fajr they sleep through Fajr so they miss their Fards and they pray in their Nawafil throughout the night so that's why we've got to understand where our priorities lie when we keep a fast with the fast there comes expectations and those expectations are that we uphold Islam, we do good actions and we stay away from bad actions. That is the whole purpose of keeping a fast, to stay away from distractions, temptations and desires. And then we maximize the maximum benefit from fasting. May Allah give us all the tawfi to do so. Ameen.